In this video, I'll walk you through the steps for making a scatter diagram in Microsoft Excel. I'm using an older version of Excel, this is from Office XP, so that if you do have an older version, you know that all of these features are present. It's not like this is some new feature added in just the new versions of Excel. Now, if you have the newer versions of Excel, absolutely, these features are still available, of course. The buttons might look just a little bit different. We're going to use the Chart Wizard button today. So, the scenario. We've got a listing of the miles driven and the list price for a number of used vehicles. And this is specifically for uh, Honda CRVs, actually. So, to make the scatter diagram for this bivariate data, we want to click the chart wizard. So we click it, and then we want to click on the XY scatter because we're making a scatter diagram. And we have a bunch of uh, subtypes of charts. We want to click on this one that's chosen, that you see chosen, and then hit next. Now Excel is going to try to guess at what data you want in your in your scatter diagram. And it did a good job in this case. It guessed the right data, but in case it didn't, I want to show you, you click this button here and then choose all of your data. This one goes just a little bit beyond the window. And certainly that works fine in Excel. So I hit enter and it's got the data. Now, series, you have your series in rows or in columns. We have them in columns and we have the X data in the in the first column and the Y data in the second column. And that's going to be easiest for you to do it that way. Okay. And then we hit next. And it's already got a good look there. If you just want a rough look at it, you can hit finish right now and, and you've got the scatter diagram. If you want to present this, maybe you want to change some stuff here in this chart wizard. So list price, uh, we'll put versus miles driven miles that are on the car and the value of the x-axis maybe you want to label this a little a little bit more so we'll put uh, the miles miles on the car and the y-axis the list price so we've got these uh, these labels on the x and y axes and then we can go on to more uh, legend I am not crazy about putting a legend in a scatter diagram because you know what these dots represent. So I'm just going to click on this legend tab and then uncheck the show legend. We don't need the legend here. And we can mess with the axes, the grid lines, all of this stuff. I'm going to hit next. Let us let it walk us through this. And then notice it says, where do we want this chart? As a new sheet, if you click that, it'll put a, uh, um, a scatter diagram as a new sheet or just write in this sheet. And I'm going to choose the write in this sheet just for this video so that I can uh, relate to the numbers that we have, the data that we have. So I'll hit finish and we get this, this, um, this scatter diagram. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so now we can see it a little bit better. And this is exactly what, what we uh, put in, the, the title and the, the label and the axes. You can change a bunch of stuff here. You can right click in the plot area to format the plot area to make it a little bit cleaner. But we don't, I don't need to walk you through all of that right now just for your time. I'll just show you what we have here for the scatter diagram. What we have shown is there is an association. And this is very interesting when you're looking at a sky di scatter diagram. Um, you see, is there a negative trend or a positive trend? And it makes sense here that the more miles there are on a car, the lower the list price is going to be. But look what happens over here. This is interesting. And, and I'm not talking about just in, um, specifically for this case, but always look at the whole graph for any case, for any example you're doing. It, it goes down, seems pretty steady, and then it starts to level out. There is something about the Honda CRV, at least for the data that that I collected that says the price doesn't it, it doesn't start to drop it should start to go down there should be more dots around here but there's something about the CRV that after about 50,000 between 50,000 and 70,000 miles uh, we have we're talking about 50,000 to 70,000 miles uh, the price is not going down much more which is which is actually kind of interesting um, and of course it's it could 
it's not just the CRV, it's just the data, that particular data that I collected. And so you look at that for whatever data that you are dealing with and, and what is the trend of, of the data that you have. All right, so there we have it, making a scatter diagram in Microsoft Excel.